Welcome back to Trauma Dump Radio, where we take generational trauma and turn it into first world problems. Our guest tonight is a pretty interesting lady. Just from getting to know her before the show, I can tell you this. Fasten your seatbelts. Things go from physical to metaphysical pretty fast with her. Let me introduce Sarah, who claims to be a time-traveling, interdimensional whistleblower. You know the drill, Sarah. Tell us. Who hurt you? Are you human? Well, I've been called a lot of things, Sarah. Why do you ask? Thank God you're human. Sarah, we met right before the show. Do you encounter a lot of non-human entities on the regular? And is it hard to tell the difference? Uh, It's horrible. So you don't know which one you're looking at. (laughs) Sorry, your voice could have been, you know, anyway. And how long would you say this has been going on? Almost 20 years. And who started it? You know, the past, you know, what people did. So, yeah, that's a lot of stuff. And what, in your opinion, does this mean for humanity? It really, really sucks. I can't describe it any better. What happens when you try to warn others? It just gets worse. You as well be giving feedback to your dog. They don't care. They're not looking at it. And you say that not only is time travel possible, but that you are a time traveler and have time traveled yourself. I was just starting to. It was fun. You'd go there. You could literally. I did it twice just to make sure I did, did it long enough. I had, yeah, I, I had 60 hours left. I was going through it. Have you seen any evidence of any paradox that you may have created as a result of this incredible achievement? Right now, we're almost a quarter of a century into the uh, 21st, but I um, don't know. I don't think so. I don't remember it as being so scary, things like that. You say that you've been to this very city but hundreds of years in the past. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Although when you come here, it's, it's pretty much a hick town. No, definitely not a hick town now. Isn't it the truth? I miss it because uh, it was really a good sight. Would you or could you go back to the same time, the same place, if you could? Um, They had a great sight. I'd love to be able to retrieve, but that probably isn't. But that probably isn't feasible. Right. It it may or may not be there. If it's there, it may be given in different uh, uh, values. Values, huh? Interesting. How about the other direction? Have you ventured into the future? I mean, it was just weird. He wouldn't Uh let me get to a human. It took forever. Discouraging, I imagine, for sure. But I was thrilled with it when it came in. I like to learn stuff. They're not doing that. It's a different thing. Different from traveling to the past, you mean? (laughs) I'm sorry, I can't speak. But, I, but I mean, you, you just can't. And I'm noticing uh, tweaks. you got to start tweaking it. Where they're starting to do it. Starting to do what, exactly? Throw it on. I mean, it's not a... And I forgot how... I mean, it was really scary. I didn't know that. They're just throwing it on there and leaving it. It's just off. I get looped. Uh, brain, brain fart. Okay, uh, people are using it without reviewing it. It is so twisted that it's impossible to find something. And can you address the issue higher up the chain of command? It didn't work. It still won't get you to where you want to go very crazily. I see. Well, hey, maybe maybe you could take me with you next time you're time traveling. I'll have to look into that and uh, go from there. I, but I'm pretty content with the setup. <laughs> Must be pretty easy for you to hitch a ride on the old time machine. Oh, my goodness. It says contact us, and I do it. Contact us, and then, it, then I do it. So, you know, yeah, I'm satisfied with what I had. And you never worry about running into yourself like Marty McFly in that movie? I don't remember that part because I never had a problem with it. And this is the first, I think this is the first real big problem. And you say you've been called to testify? So I have a feeling sometime tomorrow or the next day, I would think it's the... 
And why have you chosen to come forward at this time? Because I thought there wouldn't be because of the AI. But now, you know, they talked about the different AIs on there. And what do you plan on telling Congress? What would be an ideal outcome? Huh. Uh, get rid of the AIs. And why is that? They're not, there's no quality. It's cheaper than a human. You copy and paste. I don't really use a computer anymore. And as we wrap up the show here, do you have any parting words for the Trauma Dump listeners? Thank you for being human. Thank you. Bye-bye.